Hi, everybody. I know there's a couple more people coming in, but I just wanted to start by introducing Rika Sterrett, right? Is that how you say it? From the Board of Health, who's here to talk about the um, plastic bag ban in town and what that means for you. Um, just a reminder that Walpole Cable is here today filming. And if you have any questions, just make sure you raise your hand so Rika can bring the microphone over to you so we can hear it. Okay, thanks, Rika. Thank you. Hi, thank you for joining us today. Um, it's great to see everybody's faces. I know it's been a um, long 20 months, so it's nice that we can all be um, back and having such events. So as Debbie had mentioned, my name is Rika Starrett. I'm the deputy health agent for the health department here in Walpole. Um, I've been in the position coming up on two years. Um, so here today, I'm just really here to talk to you about the plastic bag ban um, that was passed by town meeting in May of this year. Um, and so the recycling committee, um, 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 was really the, the driving factor behind this. Um, we had a member who wrote this article um, with the help of the other committee men members, um, and then it went before a town meeting. Um, and so it did pass. Um, it followed guidelines of a lot of other communities in the area that have similar bans. Um, I can think of Attleboro for one. Um, I know there's others, other neighboring communities as well. So this ban will go into effect for a large establishment. So establishments that have retail space of 3,500 um, square feet or more um, on March 1st, 2022. So in about four months, right, five months, um, it'll go into effect. And then for the smaller retail, it'll be September 1st, 2022. So they have a little bit more time because they're smaller establishments. They might um, go through their current inventory of plastic bags slower. So we were giving them a little bit more time. So this means that when you go to the grocery store, um, you'll no longer be able to get um, single use plastic bags. So you really wanna, we're encouraging people to bring their own um, reusable bags. Um, we have some on your way out. You can grab a bag or two if you'd like to take with you. Um, and then establishments in the article, they can charge for plastic bags if they so choose. Um, that is, or uh, not plastic, um, paper or the thicker plastic that you've seen. Um, this ban um, does not apply to like newspaper bags. So the plastic bags that don't have handles, like in the produce section of the grocery store where you might be putting your produce in those, um, those plastic bags, those are still um, allowed, the newspaper bags. Um, so over at the table, you might have um, on your way in come to grab a handout. So. One of the handouts is an overview of the compliant checkout bags for Walpole. So it's a nice, simple breakdown of um, what bags are allowed and what aren't. So it goes over paper bags, what is allowed for the paper bags, and what type of paper bags would not be allowed. And then reusable bags, um, what is considered a reusable bag and what would not be, and so would then therefore not be allowed to be used. So again, if you didn't grab one, that's over there. And then there's two other ones that just, again, briefly go over what this means, um, how you might be able to um, address this yourself by making sure you have reusable bags, keeping some in your car. I know I always have way more than I need in my car, but um, they do wander in when I use them, so it's always good to have extras. Um, and then again, um, that's these two handouts. Um, and then there's also information there if you have questions. You can go onto the Walpole website. Um, we have these handouts on the website. We also have a copy of the actual article if you're interested in looking at the regulations. There's an, also an email that we've created for the um, recycling committee. Some members are reviewing the emails that are coming in if anybody has any specific questions. And it's walpolebagban at gmail.com. So if you have any specific questions that come to mind after this session or you know a business owner that has questions, they can always um, contact the health department or um, send to that email. That email is specifically for any questions about the plastic bag ban. Um, so that more or less summarizes really what I'm here to talk about today. I do want to touch upon um, a couple other things with recycling just while we're on the topic. So I did bring, in case um, some of you don't have it, um, the, every year this um, mailer goes out with the recycling calendar, um, information about what you can recycle. If you have ever, any questions on whether something's recyclable or not, um, you can go to recyclesmartma.org. There's the website 
right um, right on the handout. So that's over on the table as well if you'd like it. Um, additionally, um, right now we still have um, the smaller rectangular recycling bins in Town Hall at the Health Department office. If you are in need of a recycling bin, um, you can always come by and um, pick one up. We do have some at the moment. Um, it's not something we always have, but um, when we have some funding available, we always like to order them because we know um, your recycling bins do get beat up over time with the weather and, and being emptied. Um, and so our office hours, in case you ever want to stop by to grab one or say hi or have any other questions, um, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, 8 to 4, Tuesdays, 8 to 8, and then Fridays, 8 to noon. So is there the, the, the smaller rec rectangular bins? Like the one, there's one in the back behind that table. They're like that size. Um, but so if you want to have larger bins, we just ask, you, you would have to purchase them yourselves, but we just ask um, that you keep them at 35 gallons or smaller just because we still have the guys from the truck physically emptying the recycling. Um, so we try not to have the bins or even trash barrels too large so that they can empty them. Correct, correct. Those, just the ones, and thank you, Nancy, she put it on the table. Those are the recycling bins that we do have in um, Town Hall at the moment. Do I have any other questions about recycling, the plastic bag ban, what that means? Yes. Now, the oh, mulch bags, the mulch bags, when you buy mulch, they're the, in a plastic bag, there's no handle on them. You know, and uh, now will the trash man, will they rubbish pick that up? because it is plastic. They are pla and they do not always pick up uh, plastic bags also that have that little signature triangle or whatever it is on the bag that says it is recyclable. And they don't pick it up. They'll take it out of the trash bag and they'll just leave it there on the ground and not take it. So are you putting that in your recycling or in your trash? And it, well, it would be in the recycling because even though in the the for the glass for the plastic, so because I'm a big recycler and you know whatever. So it's always good to recycle, and so that's where I'm going to refer you back if you're ever unsure. Um, RecycleSmartMA.org or call our office. But unfortunately, plastic bags, even if they have that recycling sign on them, they cannot go into the recycling. Um, with your plastic bag, they, they tangle up. And the MRFs, when they're separating out your recyclables, they can, they can cause um, things to get tangled. So generally, plastic bags cannot go into your recycling. But the grocery stores, they have those bag, like you can return, and you can put those with with those plastic bags. Um, and then the mulch bags, plastic, do you mean like, will you be able to get those from the store? Yes, or? And they're full, you know, when you want to spread mulch in the spring or whenever you're doing it, they're in plastic, the mulch itself is in plastic bags, and those bags do not have handles on them. So, so then you have to get rid of them naturally, so when you have, I bought 50 of them this year, and when you put them out a little bit at a time, sometimes they'll pick it up and sometimes they won't. They'll just leave it. So the actual bags, those those I would go into the trash. Okay. Oh, and they should pick them up in the in the trash. Yep. Um, unfortunately, those cannot be recycled. I know a lot of people would like to recycle plastic bags. So again, the best place, bring them to the grocery store. Because, um, and Jane, you might be able to speak to it better, but I do believe grocery store, they'll take... Um, um, other types, like I think they sometimes take, um, I don't want to say bubble wrap, but you know the Amazon packages, when they come with those, they're the larger filled bubbles with air, um, you can return those. They take a, a wider range of those plastic types of bags that you can actually bring to the grocery store. I think they would take mulch, though, because no, not that wouldn't give them bags. No, no, they're mulch bags, because they're dirt, because it always says they have to be clean, so, you know, you in the trash. And I go to your. I forgot. I should introduce. Um, Jane is here with us, and so is Nancy in the back. They're both part of the recycling committee. So I appreciate them coming to help me today. Um, and yes, we had a question. Oh, I need to bring you the microphone. Uh, 
could you please tell me, do, do this, like the Stop and Shop and all the other grocery stores, what do they do with those plastic bags? Do they actually do something with them or do they dump them? That is a very good question, and I unfortunately don't have a specific answer. There is something done with them. They're not actually just put in the trash, um, but I don't know the exact recycling process for those bags. I don't know if um, Nancy or Jane, you have no, but that's something I can look into and get more information. Would either? Okay. I, I do believe they actually get recycled. I just don't know that um, exact process. Yeah. I was half asleep when I saw this on TV. The guy was being questioned about uh, the, that uh, triangular symbol. Uh, he's using the same symbol, which is confusing. Do you know what I'm talking about? If it's on a different recyclable Yeah. Different and some, right. And people are getting confused and just saying, well, is that triangle it's got to be recyclable do do you know what i'm talking about do you, and what can we do to to know which is recyclable and which isn't so I, in some ways, I wish I had Mass DEP here because they are the gurus on recycling. Unfortunately, again, just because something has those triangles on it does not mean it can be recycled. Um, and I know that can be very counterintuitive. Um, there are, depending on the state you're in, some states will take some, have processes to recycle some materials over others. Um, and then, so those, those are really for partially for manufacturers for the like type of plastic, um, and again, some states, some communities might take some some kinds and others don't, depending on what type of facilities they have there that might take it. So again, for us, the best resource um, when you're unsure of something, um, because there's a lot of things that you would like to recycle or that you think would be recyclable, but actually, unfortunately, aren't. Um, so. Really, we refer to the RecycleSmartMA.org. Type in what it is that you're um, looking to recycle, and they will tell you um, if it can go, if it needs to go in the trash, if it can be put in regular recycling, or if there's another potential place to dispose of um, those items. If there's another option, did you have something? Recycling plastic bags. Recycling, recycled plastic bags usually get melted down so they can be made into new plastic bags. Um, this reduces the impact on the environment because manufacturers don't need to, new, to use new plastic to create a bag. And also, after the recycled plastic bags can be converted into outdoor furniture, which I did know that. The most common items are decks, park benches, picnic tables, fences. And I know there's a, there's a brick, there's a program that makes bricks. Thank you, Nancy. Okay, any other questions? Yes. No, I will do better at calling to find out, but in the past, this is what I've done. If I have a question about a piece of plastic, I go, let them figure it out, and I throw it in with the recyclable plastics. When they get my bin, or anyone's bin, and they, I mean, it all goes into a huge vat, I'm sure. How do they decipher, or do they just melt it all down and just live with it? I, I, I don't know how that works. So it all does get sorted. It goes to a MRF, and it goes through, and they have mach partially machine sorting, and then people there as well reviewing the product. We want to encourage recycling, but we want to encourage proper recycling. So we actually say, when in doubt, throw it out. Um, because a lot of times, um, there are a lot of things that unfortunately can't be recycled, and then it contaminates the recycling stream, and then you can lose a lot of product, and then that can get very costly. Um, so you want to be recycling correctly. So like cardboards and papers can be recycled. Your plastics, you want to make sure that they're cleaned out. Um, no food debris when you're putting it in. Um, and again, unfortunately, when in doubt, um, throw it out. And I again, I hate to say that because we want to encourage recycling, um, but you need to be recycling properly. Um, 
There are people, yes, there that can sort it out so it doesn't go into all one vat. But if it is, if there's a, in some places they say if they get one contaminated load, then the whole load gets thrown out. Um, and then there's items they miss um, as they sort, right? There's human error, the machines don't catch everything. Um, so there, there was, a, recycling got, became very expensive a few years ago because that, there was so much contamination in recycling that it really became almost cost prohibitive to recycle. So again, you wanna be really smart about your recycling, making sure you are only throwing out products that can be recycled and that those products are clean. Again, rinse out your peanut butter jars, um, that type of thing. No, that's okay. I wish I was more awake during this program because it was very, in, it was very um, interesting. But this guy was asked, "Why did you come up with this same type of symbol?" And I'm, and I'm going to make a statement here. If it's so important that we should recycle and recycle properly, why can't we remove this man's whoever, whatever agency he belongs to? Tell him, get a different symbol because you're confusing the people. If it's that important to us, why aren't we doing that so that we won't get confused with his symbol being so much like the other triangular recyclable symbol? Why can't we do something to change that? Do you know what this presentation was? Or it was on channel two like three in the morning and I, I, I just didn't catch it all. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but we gotta do something better. So a lot of that is also on a national level, right? So Oh, I I have not heard heard that. Um so I don't know if it's that it's contaminated like it wasn't cleaned properly. That could be um and that's, that's another thing, too, like uh, peanut butter and mayonnaise, the jars have to be clean. But here we are in a water shortage, and it takes an awful lot of water to wash and clean those two products out, you know? I mean, that's, here it is. One, you rub Peter to pay Paul. It doesn't make sense to me when we have so much of a water problem here issue, and now more with all of these high rises that have shown up, you know? I know some people run those containers through the dishwasher and that in some ways is more water effective, right? Because you're already washing your dishes using a dishwasher is more water effective than hand washing. Um, regarding the, the symbol, right? That those symbols are, these corporations that are producing this packaging, that's very large scale. And some states take some recyclable items versus other states, right? So it, it's, that would be a that's a much larger question and problem that needs to be addressed um, and looking at how can we make sure that all packaging that we're getting can be recycled um so is and, that recycling under the state of massachusetts yeah so dep um they they set like they have certain guidelines of what has to be recycled so for instance cardboard cardboard is not allowed in the in the waste stream so you actually are supposed to recycle cardboard so if you put out a cardboard box for your trash the trash actually should not pick it up right because they they can get fined if too much cardboard is found in their waste stream because dep will come out and do inspections um of um, solid waste companies to make sure that they are um only picking up what they are allowed to. Um, so DEP on the, in Massachusetts sets a lot of those regulations, but then some communities have their own um, recycling programs or um, they have agreements with certain organizations that might take certain products that they then recycle. So s some of it is state level and then some of it is also on the community level, what resources are within the community. Anything else? Yes. Some of the triangles have numbers in them. Oh, yes, they do. Like one, two, and three? Yes. So those numbers refer to the, the type of material. And again, um, some, some recycling places will say they only take 
certain products with the numbers. I unfortunately don't know specifically which each of the different numbers refer to. Um, I don't know, Jane or Nancy, if you have a better idea of like the, what the different numbers mean. So the different materials have different numbers. And So we don't base it off the number. Um, and again, we usually, like, we refer <laughs> to this website that I love to refer to, that recyclesmartma.org, for what can go in. So um, Walpole no longer has this, um, the separate stream. We have single stream recycling. So it might have been at one point. Um, but right now, um, unfortunately, the numbers don't really help differentiate too much. Um, like Nancy said, the numbers say like what the material is that the product is made out of. So some places might say they'll take this number because they're able to recycle that type of material. Um, but so uh, unfortunately, as you know, like recycling is very, it's based on this, con this conversation, recycling is very complicated um, and it is a very large process that involves a lot of different entities and organizations. So there's unfortunately no simple answer. Um, and so if you're ever in doubt, you can always call us and we can say whether something is recyclable or not. Have they started taking televisions and ads So TVs, um, we have our annual household hazardous waste day, the first Saturday in May every year, and you can bring your TVs there and we um, have, uh, there's different fees for the, the size of the TV depending on um, the size. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So they're and they do get recycled for the different parts of the materials, but unfortunately, that can't go into like the the town recycling. Yeah. Correct. Um, we there are if you um. I don't know how active everybody is on social media, but there is a Walpole Recycles Facebook page. Nancy actually um, posts on that. And there are electronic recycling events throughout the year, um, not just at the ha Household Hazardous Waste Day. Um, and so you can always look there to see if there's one coming up if you have electronic devices, such as TVs that you'd like to dispose of. Um, especially if, if you have a larger TV, um, it tends to be cheaper to dispose of it at one of those events than at our Household Hazardous Waste Day, but you can always compare costs um, and same thing other appliances cannot go into recite into town um, trash or recycling um, if you ever need to dispose of something that can't go into the trash town or recycling you can give our office a call and we can give you names of contractors or places you might be able to bring it or who might pick it up yep so you're allowed to have one large item a week but that again um, that doesn't apply to to like appliances or other electronic devices, yeah. Um, however, also just to be aware that um, DEP um, just put in place their 2030 master plan um, and mattresses will also be banned from the waste stream starting at the end of 2022. So mattresses can be recycled. Um, I'm sure that as this ban slowly becomes into effect that more um, organizations in Massachusetts will pop up that um, provide that surface service to recycle mattresses. I believe there is a place in Framingham that will take mattresses if you're ever looking to get rid of one. Um, if you have any furniture um, or mattresses that are in good condition, there's New Life Home Refurnishing here in Walpole that will always take donations of gently used furniture. So, okay. Regarding, like, do you have a specific question around bottle returns? Well, yes. Uh, CVS, if you buy their bar, their tonics or their water or anything, they'll charge you, but they won't take them back. So again, I that I believe that would be overseen by DEP. I don't know the enforcement around if they have to take it back. I believe there is a bottle redemption center, um, though. Have you tried bringing it there and they don't take it? Go into another, like the big Y where they take the bottle 
Yep. Spit them out. Because they don't take them. And I, I've had similar experiences myself at places, and I don't know why that is. I had always had the understanding that if they sell them, they, they should take them back. Um, but I don't know who the enforcement um, body is or what the actual regulations I behind the that. Day, my husband and I went to stop and shop with a couple of big bags full of returns, the bottles and the cans. And when the machine started spitting it out, my husband just put it back in and it took it. So sometimes they're finicky too. Yeah. Um, but I wonder if the redemption center um, w might take those that they have a broader. Um, so you could bring it there. One second. Did you have a question? Um, I wanted to ask about styrofoam. Does that go in the regular trash? Styrofoam is trash, unfortunately, yes. And there is no program for recycling styrofoam. And it doesn't sound like there's going to be one moving forward. Trash. Styrofoam is in trash. Yep. Okay. Um, and we have reached out to DEP about styrofoam, and it doesn't sound like they're looking for a program for recycling styrofoam. Um, we get that question quite regularly, actually. Place in Bridgewater, apparently that takes styrofoam. So there you go. So this summer I started drinking beer, and uh, I, <laughs> I, uh, I had two six packs of bottles of, of beer to get rid of, and um, at that recycling near that don the donut shop there, they don't take bottles anymore. And they, so I just want you to know that. They'll take your cans, but they won't take bottles. So I'm going to go to canned beer from now on. No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, so, where's this? Oh, okay. Well. Oh, okay. I'll go there. But I just wanted to let you know. Oh, oh, that may be it. I don't know. But anyway, I just wanted to let people know that they don't take bottles there anymore. And they referred me to bring it back to the liquor store that where you bought it. Just for your own information. Okay. Great. Thank you. Do you have any other questions? Oh, yes. So it's paper and cardboard. Okay. Yep. The, sorry, I didn't, I didn't give you the mic. The Robbins Road compost site does take um, paper and cardboard. Okay, well, I appreciate you so much for joining us today. I know it was a, a short segment, and I apologize that I didn't have all the answers, but I'm always happy to get answers, so you can always contact me at the health department. Um, or here, give me your phone number if you have a specific question, and I can always reach out to DEP or whoever might have those answers and get back to you. Please spread the word about the plastic bag ban. Um, we have been trying to do a lot of outreach. We want to make residents aware that this is going into effect um, March 1st um, of next year for those larger retailers. Um, so just start um, practicing planning, um, bringing those reusable bags to the grocery store. Okay, thank you. Oh, and grab a reusable bag on your way out. Thank you.